Hi, this is Missionary Norman Edgar in the Reynosa, Mexico. This is July 2011. This is page 18 of the commands of Jesus, the Apostle, and Evangelist. And these commands are to all Christians. And we will continue with Luke 14, 12 through 14. Then said he also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, Call not thy friend, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor the rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. 13. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Luke 14.35, It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that had ears to hear, let him hear. Luke 16.9, And I say unto you, Make to yourself friends of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. Luke 17.3, Take heed to yourselves, if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. Luke 17.10 So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. Luke 17.32 Remember Lot's wife. 7 Luke 18:6 And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. Luke 18:16 But Jesus called unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Luke 18:20 Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. Luke 20, 25, And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things that be Caesar's, and unto God the things that be God. Luke twenty forty six. Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes, and love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues, and the chief room at feast. Luke 21, 8, And he said, Take heed, that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Luke 21, 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Luke 21, 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Luke 21.19 In your patience possess ye your souls. Luke 21.21 21. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter thereinto. Luke 21.28 21, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Luke 21, 29. And he spake to them a parable, Behold the fig tree and all the trees. 30. When they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. 31. So likewise ye, when you see these things come to pass, Know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Luke 21, 34, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, and cares of this life, so, and so that day come upon you unawares. Luke 21, 36, Watch ye therefore and pray always, that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things shall, that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke twenty two seventeen. And he took the cup and gave thanks, and said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves. 
Luke 21 19 and he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it unto unto them saying this is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me Luke 22 25 26 and he said unto them the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors 26 but ye shall not be so but he that is the greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that does serve. 